Happy Wednesday everybody! Welcome back to Stitch With Me Wednesday European Town. First I want to say thank you very much all who joined this journey to stitch together. It's always fun to have our friends and not just alone. And today we are going to stitch this little patch. Then I will be uh, set my well, it looks like camera okay, but again, I forgot to recharge my battery. And I am back. Now, Daisy here chilling next to me, so hopefully she's going to be nice and quiet. Um, now, I will start in here because this needle is not very sharp and it's go hard. I cannot, basically, I can't weigh with this one needle. So usually what I do, I will start go under and here in the corner almost kind of like pull out now I will go from under my canvas go to the opposite corner and diagonally like this right pull as much as you want and then now whatever is under my canvas, this little tail here will sticking out for now. I will over stitch this and that's how I will secure. It's easy for me at this point right now. And again, we're working on the very edge of this canvas. So I will have to be very careful in here not to stitch my canvas on the other side. Now somebody asked me if I can start from another side because that's what I was mentioned I will do. Uh, I probably will. I just want to stitch a little bit first um, this. Like I would love to finish this part that I'm stitching right now and then I will switch to opposite side of the canvas. So that's what I will do. Um, when I don't know because I'm not stitching as much as I want to as I'm still in a go different project doing um, now before I forget I'm gonna tell you that we are have a winner from this little stitch with me Wednesday I have a winner and I will announce a little bit later so keep keep listening now I also give you update what else I'm doing. I started on my sister's uh, custom diamond painting. Um, well, don't know what to say yet about that because I need to f at least to do her face. I kind of started her hair. I did lots of greenery on the background next around her so we'll see I can't say nothing yet if I like it or not because it is kind of like a big canvas but little face as it's picture in a full um, like standing up okay now and here this I'm gonna stitch one more and then I will have to I'm not even using my magnifier right now. Feeling okay. For now anyway. Now we will be cut those little tails. Okay, because now my needle will go into this corner where I have this little tail. So I will grab my sharp scissors and now I'm going to trim it. Yeah, and we'll go right up there. So now all this uh, thread that I kind of, I secure on the back. And this is easy way to do if you really uh, don't want to flip your canvas to secure your thread from another side. This is kind of like, it's, it's a good way to go. And now all this thread that was from here to here, it's overlap, over stitch 
up there and it's not gonna go nowhere so that that's a good thing um what else okay also i'm working on my owl it left from me for one more day i think because i did a lot uh yesterday last night and by the time you're watching this video that canvas probably will be finished and I will show you completed already. I don't know if I should show you progress in this video or not. I wish I could hear you talking to me if you are interested to see it or you just want to wait and see till my uh, canvas is all done. Also tomorrow if you have a tiger diamond painting See, I'm, I'm splitting in here a little bit my threads. So I will go from opposite way from here to here. Because sometimes just can't get the needle up without splitting. So now I can kind of push that thread and not gonna split my threads in half because it's visible sometimes. If you split them, it will kind of create not even X. And we want to have a nice and even. As you can see, I did my nails uh, last night. I did kind of like a chrome. Um, not sure what to think of it. Kind of shift in color. Uh, I use oh, this peekaboo little bit teal color as my base, and then I rub powder. Um, what you call it uh, like powder not a holograph chrome powder to make that shine so it's going to be enough for another two weeks maybe I'm not sure if I like exactly this color or not now one more thing is my kids started school today virtual school on computers so maybe well i hope you i think she's having a break right now and uh, her chit chat with this teacher in class was kind of loud so hopefully that did not disturb you and i hope you did not hear that um because kind of like canada went on a pandemic for uh, lockdown for a week or so I don't understand that at all so this week they will be in school on computers like at home and I believe on Monday they will start regular school by going to actually the school so right now Catherine at home so maybe we will hear some extra noises I'm not sure and uh, that's the thing that this week is going to be a little bit hectic um just a minute Catherine Catherine okay no she went back to her room so the class has started and funny thing when I okay Daisy lay down girl lay down mama record on video she I heard her walking she was sleeping by the door by the way yes thank you very much everybody for her birthday wishes she is one year old now so she was walking upstairs in here and then she saw me setting up camera and they know when i record video they need to be quiet i don't know how in the world they learned that but <laughs> She saw me touching camera and she freeze on a kind of like between sofa and dresser. So she don't know what to do. Should she proceed to go or go back? So I invited her to the sofa and now she's snoozing next to me here. And I can't believe it. Like same thing body. Like when, when they hear my camera going up they go away and stay in quiet 
Of course, if they would hear some noise. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to find a hole for this one. Okay. But sometimes if they hear some noises from outside, they would um, go loud and run to the door. But for now, they are good. They behave and they learn that I have to record video. Unbelievable. Smart puppies. Yeah. If you miss my video unboxing uh, was day before day before when on Tuesday check it out there's such a gorgeous cross stitch up there of angel cross stitch and angel I love that canvas and oh so tempting but also this is the year of tiger I even thinking if I should start cross stitch of tiger as well or for now we're just gonna do diamond pink tiger I saw somebody on uh, Instagram because I posted a picture of this tiger that I will diamond paint tomorrow uh, I posted on Instagram and somebody say that they have exactly the same tiger so that's awesome we can do together and there's no really restriction how fast we need to do this is you know a whole year of tiger so we can do as many tigers if we want as long as we want doesn't matter when you start when you finish but it is nice to kind of follow the year of the animal that represent this year and just have extra fun that's all i say uh, my year I was born in year of dog and the funny part is I am allergic to dogs <laughs> so basically I'm allergic to myself how funny is that yeah and I do own two dogs even more skeptical right about how funny it is we love animals we want them doesn't matter if we're allergic or not which I did not know for all these years that I'm allergic to dogs here till maybe 10 years ago I went for a test and I was really surprised when doctor says that one of the test scratches was a uh, dog hair allergy very very strange also today I'm waiting uh, one of my packages will arrive that was split into if you remember I told you that I received package and I was in, I tried to figure out from who because it didn't look anything like I ordered uh, because it was like smaller package and I know that I was waiting like a big package so after I emailed to the company they did say they split my package in two packages and they did not tell me that so they did apologize and some kind of like I already recorded one video and then I put the other pr um, package on hold because some of the supposed to go with the other stuff that I did not receive yet uh, so they okay with that for me to wait the other package till it's arrived and it's already in my town I check number today and it should be delivered today so I'm looking forward to that I know that in my last package one item that I received came broken unfortunately and I will show you what that is in my video I kind of mentioned them in an email that is broken but they did not respond on that particular item absolutely nothing so I don't know didn't pay attention to the thing that is actually broken I 
so this is kind of like a shady two shades oh yeah yeah you can see on camera very well right now of this um, color it's getting darker we are still doing a pine trees oh I'm so loving it that some of you posted pictures I already created this house I, I really really love a roof up there because it's a beautiful colors on the roof kind of like a deep blue or something yeah looks gorgeous and I cannot wait to get to that part and also I have another part under the bush I can really move right now because my tripod staying on the top of the canvas but by the bush up there was kind of a patch of flowers I did not work on that color yet else I'm, I have been working these days oh I did some more progress on my the cross stitch that I created for Catherine sign of Virgo by Josephine Wall from Hyatt I'm stitching that one so did a little bit more progress. I will have to record a little bit more video of the progress because I will be showing you. Didn't stitch too much because I was really trying to get on the top with my diamond painting. So as I plan, as I told you that I want to do, uh, finish first those little canvases which we already did butterflies and then I want to uh, do quickly progress to empty Catherine's containers by working on an owl. Uh, come out, come out nicely. Like I, I like the way it looks already. So I also have video whip and chat on that canvas, and the rest of the canvas I'm kind of working quickly, um, and I will show you progress. Uh, and finish in my next video whatever that will be so right now I'm planning obviously upload this video that we stitching with you right now this is will be my first upload then I will upload picture I mean video create with the tiger I'm just going up right now as you can see to get to the point go to the top first and come back and to to reach to this patch so I'm kind of like you know usually go half stitch to the point where I need to go and then when I close my axis that's where I'm reaching out to the place so I can reach so basically right now I need to have, uh, let's see, uh, I already have a winner, lovely Maria, uh, on my Instagram for the makeup palette. I have already winner from my uh, Christmas giveaway and that is Catherine. <laughs> Everybody spelling her name was wrong. I hope she forgive everybody, right Catherine? Um, and then I have a winner from my beauty channel for another palette of makeup, which I did not, um, well, by the time I should be announced. I don't know if I'm gonna announce or I'm just gonna contact the winner. I really wanted to create a video as well and then tell the winner, but this couple of days, as I mentioned before, just waking up with such a puffy eyes and I would love to do some makeup tutorial. Not exactly tutorial, just kind of like a get ready with me, but where to get ready if I don't go nowhere these days, right? Everything shut down and it's kind of feel like, you know, what, to put up makeup and just wash it because nowhere to go. <laughs> with that makeup oh my goodness but I want to try out because my kids bought me a gorgeous palette makeup very expensive one 
from Sephora for Christmas and I didn't even do swatches yet and it's such a beautiful palette that I really really wanted to try so um, the winner on my makeup channel a little bit late so I'm sorry for that because I know some of you also um, play up there as a, for the giveaway so please join me please join me on my makeup channel all the links is on my channel future channel you can find up there on the home page of my channel all there And I never check on camera if we even stitching in focus or not. I'm so chatty. No, I think the focus on camera picking, all right. Sometimes I watch my video later and I see the little bit like off focus. But as of right now, as I'm looking on camera, uh, usually, you know, because camera it's a small screen, Sometimes it looks to me like it's nice and focusing and then later when I watch my video on a big screen on computer and I see that sometimes I have like a focus and I'm just like oh no and I just created a little knot let be gentle I can see I need a now I need a magnifier. Really? Because this needle is not sharp. I need a just a minute. I need something sharp so I'm gonna use my this one to get into see that's easy that needle is really like not sharp at all well I guess I'm just gonna leave my magnifier here since I already pull it towards me or maybe I should stitch like with two hands that way I would control a little bit better my threads with my hands by holding like this so it's go down that way it will be tangled less I kind of forgot that I already learned how to stitch with two hands it's still not comfortable this left one but it's getting better it's getting better I did wax this thread so the stitches lay a little bit better. So for those who are new on my channel and maybe just now first time watching this video and wonder uh, where this canvas from, it's from Biggest Craft the link always under my video if you like to purchase and stitch together with us I will add your name later to the list you just need to share your projects on my Facebook group so I can see that you actually stitching with us and have fun wow what do you think girls how long will it take us to stitch this? Well, some of you who stitches stitching just a one project, I'm sure you will stitch sooner. But usually, many of us stitch many projects at the same time. Before, 
<laughs> you know, I love to watch girls who show in whip spread. I love those kind of videos. And I thought first, dirty whips, what? How in the world people can start this many projects instead of just, you know, start one and finish? And then, year later, I understand why. Because when you get something that is so beautiful, you just, you thinking and thinking about it, you can't stop thinking about it. You want it so much that, oh, sorry, my phone, why is it so loud? First of all, I did not mute it, thank goodness nobody called. Um, well, that just the Instagram notification. Um, okay, so let's see, this little tiny patch left. So now I understand, you know, it's very easy to get involved in so many whips in cross stitch because, for example, the other day I was looking, um, company asked me to pick some new product for review. And I was strolling through the website and I saw cross stitch that I already have and it gave me goosebumps. <laughs> and that's the sign that I really, really, really love that project and it just keeps following me and I'm kind of like resistant to start because I know I have already so many starts and every time I look it gives me shivers. Even right now I'm talking about it and I'm getting the shivers because I like the project so much. At the same time, I'm so scared to start on that project because I know it's probably going to be tough. And let me tell you what that is. And that is a black cat in a frosty night. So do you remember me doing a review on a cross stitch? when it's a, a black cat kind of walking through the frosty night um, and all the colors up there kind of like a black gray like I call 50 shades of gray ah oh, that one is so beautiful to me and there's some other canvases that are also gorgeous but this cat is just so magnificent and first of all I like I never have any cross stitch that is like monochromatic like this in gray shades and I very very attempting to start something I almost started on, on a New Year's Eve canvas that is with Jesus very beautiful picture but I stopped myself by thinking that I will probably start that canvas on Easter time that would be probably more um, I don't know yes I think I will start that canvas on Easter because on a New Year's day I started Hyatt for Catherine my little girl okay so I'm finished with this one uh, patch and then I have patch a little bit lower up there so let me readjust okay so what I did now uh, this is the very very edge of the canvas and I am going to stitch sideways I will start same way as I start before and my goodness hopefully I will not forget to put my stitches in a proper position because right now I'm going to stitch sideways so I have to go in the opposite way as I would do if I would face a proper position of the canvas so I really have to guide myself by looking on the previous stitches and not stitch in the wrong direction because if you flip canvas from uh, where's my hand? from this side to this side like if you start from here or you start from here your stitches always will face proper way but right now I'm doing from here 
so I have to make sure even I stitch from this way I have to make sure my stitches layer as I would go from here so it's a little bit tricky right now but hopefully I will remember to keep it right so I really need to pay attention and hear what I'm doing because I cannot stand if I stitch something wrong and then I have to tear apart those stitches. It's always kind of like, oh, I just wasted time. So I have a little bit of threaders here left. I will be finishing. Okay, so make sure this tail don't run away because we need to over stitch from the other side like we did before. Alright, so if you are ready, should we do the giveaway drum roll right now? Who is going to be a winner this time? Now, please don't be upset if you're not a winner this time because we're going to have many more giveaways. Having fun stitching this canvas, okay? So please don't be upset and just keep stitching. So for this time, the winner of the, um, well, you, sure you remember the canvas, let me get it one more time, let me get one more time, and this is the canvas was with this garden, a little bit, okay, here's the canvas that was as a giveaway, let's get back our stitches here uh, and that would be da, 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 Michelle Morris Michelle Morris I hope I spell right I mean pronounce right Michelle Morris you are the winner this time and thank you so much for stitching with us thank you oh I think I did mistake in here Oh no, all right. Uh, thank you so much and congratulations for this time winning my gift. So you can message me privately on a Facebook, on a messenger, and I will be sending all the gift hopefully to the end of this week. Um, we'll see on the situation of what is going on with this pandemic uh, looks like everything is closed not for a long time so hopefully the post office where I will go will be function normally and I can send it out uh, before I wrap this gift or other gifts I will sanitize them as well but you know what, um, just make sure when you receive, you also wipe the packages because lots of people touch on them before they arrive, arrive to you. So just to keep you safe. But um, yeah, I'm really happy to do a giveaway. It always make me feel uh, really satisfied and feels good to gift. Now, when I will send just make sure you know uh, some some packages manage to get lost and I have the experience myself uh, some of my packages people did not receive and some packages uh, not one not two more I did not receive so it's kind of difficult but I will make sure to have a, at least like you know maybe truck and number to make sure to see where those packages are and I promise you I send them so hopefully you will receive and you will enjoy with little heart from me and just keep being positive and okay see now I'm making a mistake you see that I overlap this way but I'm supposed to do this way first so in this position if I don't want to pull out my thread what I do uh, this one is not closed it's kind of like a loose yet let's see if I can zoom a little bit more close 
No, it's gonna be foggy. Um, so what I do, I put this little bit on the loose. I go hold on, on the loose. I go from under my canvas again to create my stitch. And I go under this, let me show you. I will go under those threads, down. So it kind of, when I create this stitch, that one go first and the one that I did mistake, it will overlap right now from the top. Just keep watching, there. And now it's proper way. So sometimes I do, if I do like this mistake, I just go under if I don't wanna uh, break too many times like and uh, keep fixing it all right destruction destruction I had to stop my video because Catherine have a break from school so I had to make her lunch and it's going to be tough this week with recording because you know not only I need to be kind of quiet because she's in class, but also now if she has a break from school, I have to quickly create lunch under stuff. So it's going to be a little bit hectic this week, but I am better have her at home than at school, to be honest. But she really, really want to go to school. Good for her. Okay, and while we chit chat, and I really need to pay attention in here, and it's so not comfortable to stitch on a corner in here because it's so close to the edge, and my cat is getting loud up there because he demanding food from my son, and he also has his high school class downstairs as well, so cat is just keep chasing everybody so after this video I'm going downstairs to do laundry anyway so I will be refilling his dish clean his later all the good stuff you know but he's mowing right now so I have a fear that you probably hear him because he's loud when he wants food he's loud and never mind, even if he has a food in a dish, I, I bet it's not even empty, but he always starving. He always pretend he have no food left. And that is the nature of the cats. What can we do? Okay. We have very short thread left in here. So maybe I will start saying my goodbyes slowly to you for today's video my lovely winner please contact me i don't even know where you're from <laughs> so yes as always i ship my presents worldwide so no matter where you are hopefully you will receive your gift and hopefully i can send this this week so I'll see. I was hoping I will have enough thread to finish all this um, patch, but it's actually a lot yet. So I will have to start another thread. Oh, I almost did it again. See, I was going to in a wrong direction again. Oh, it's so hard to to do it right from the sideway point of view. This one I'm just gonna go under and redo it from another side. It's complicated to start from another side. It's really messing up with your brain, but at this point I have no choice because otherwise it's very not comfortable for me to do as I stitch in sideways. Okay, all those noises. See, it's Catherine. 
she trying to be quiet but the door is squeaky I have to spray doors again with the what's the call when you when you spray on those metal pieces or door connected to the wall they last or totally like stop squeaking I think I have a spray somewhere hopefully I have enough thread to stitch this little piece that left in here literally five stitches left let's see if we can make it or not because it would be not fun to start in here just for one single stitch which I have lots of those single stitches when I work on Hyatt oh that's a complicated but I like so far what I see up there I will have to do a little bit more progress so I can show you so I can show you I did not test yet that uh, silver or glitter thread I keep forgetting I have to do this like right now after this video maybe to see if it's good remember the one that I got from DIY digital art the big spool that good from for the dress of my character uh, for this Hyatt so I will see if it's changing any color after wash or not because it would be sad if some color will fade it and I'm so worried that you know some threads could be bad whatever I'm stitching right now and I'm just so thinking if I should wash after or not when it's fully stitched but of course kind of need all right this is the last one stitch for today and I will be secure from the other side so now I just will by myself finish this little piece in here and then the other have a like right on the other side of the frame so we are good in here thank you so much for joining me today congratulations let's congratulate our first winner from European town please contact me privately and I will send my gift to you and we sure going to play some more so don't be upset if you didn't win keep your head up keep stitch and show me your progress thank you so much